Having a generator as reliable as our 30 horse tractor has been on the project list ever since I had to rely on a generator in a critical situation. So here's a build of a completely custom 3 point mount for a 15kW Winko PTO generator. When going the PTO generator route I had a lot of questions and while this video isn't about answering those I think you'll see at least some of the answers to the build process as the design comes together. If interested in the design or some of the CNC parts for a PTO generator project of your own head over to freethoughtinnovations.com. Questions and comments are welcome, and I hope you enjoy the build. I knew this project was going to require quite a bit of welding, but it was still more than I was anticipating. I can't say it was a bad thing though, I needed the practice and this was a really good way for me to get back into welding and heavier steel.
this point, I had fabricated the base of the three-point mount without the generator itself. I was just working off drawings. So now that the generator was finally here, I was excited to get it off the truck and test fit it to make sure what I had built was going to work. With everything tacked in place, well, almost everything, it was time to do some final welding. Originally, I did not plan on adding flat expanded to the rear, but I figured with the hitch on the back, it would protect the generator from being accidentally backed into the tongue of a trailer. These plates are for the addition of 3 inch bolt on casters. It was important to me to have casters on this as I wanted the generator to be easily tucked away when not in use. I've noticed that not everyone grounds their generator when one really should. Here the grounding rod driver was an easy way to ensure there's no excuse to grounding the equipment before use. I'm sure this won't be the last time I say this, but if there's anything I have to say about paint, it's really all about the prep work.
right here I would say is what makes 3D printers one of my favorite tools in the shop. At first, I thought I would place an aluminum hood over the generator that would have a latch and struts. However, with the price of metal right now, I've held off on that part of the project, and if it's raining when in use, I will be okay with a tarp and some magnets to cover the generator. Even though it may not be what I want, I know spending that much when there are adequate alternatives to be unwise. Either way, a cover would have made the two plugs difficult to access, so I went with adding a two-gang electrical box to each side. It's been a few months since completing this three-point generator project, and while the project may have taken longer than I anticipated, I don't regret taking the time to think through the details to ensure that this would be a quality piece of equipment that we can rely on for years to come. Restoring power to critical infrastructure can be done in minutes now, and I can trust that it's going to be a durable piece of equipment in a time of need. The heavy build, four legs, grounding rod, and careful measuring to ensure minimal angles in the shortest driveline all played into the goal of minimal vibration when running. The outside cage serves to protect the generator and the hitch enables us to attach a trailer for transporting auxiliary fuel tanks. Or my welding equipment as I expand the scope of my projects around the farm. If you enjoyed this video, join me on the journey of creating content by considering subscribing. I am willing and looking forward to expanding my skills to share more of my projects. From my shop to yours, this is Eric's Mark, and thank you for watching.